All right, gentlemen, to start this video off, I figured let's play a fun game. It's fun for you guys, it's horrible for me. The game is called, Is Boone Gonna Cook the Box Logo or Not? So I need you guys, starting off this video, leave a comment right now. Boone's taking a fat stinker, wet diarrhea, just the smelliest L you can think of. Or, you could be one of the cool people that's like, Boone might cook up a medium grade, you know? Leave a comment whether or not I'm gonna cook, and I'm actually gonna send someone 10 bucks that predicts the right answer. I figured it'd be a fun little game for us to get this box logo week started, man. So, hey, also drop a like. You have to do that to enter, even though I have no way of checking, but let's just get into discussing what we have going on this week. It's obviously Supreme Emilio Pussy time, so we're gonna be discussing together the best resale items to go for. I had a bunch of people hitting me up after retails came out. It seems like a lot of you are pretty up in the air about, like, what's gonna do well, because I won't lie, there are some devastating retails we're gonna get into discussing. So we're just gonna hop right into this drop list video, but I do need to mention to you all, we just added Cardinal to browser. Literally the best autofill. I use it on like every single release. You can now get it for free if you sign up for browser. You can also obviously get like our restock monitor. If one of you manuals a box logo off a of restock, I'll spank your booty. What? You also get our release guides, early link. You can get slots for this release. You get access to my weekly resale predictions where I write a whole analysis. You guys get the point. You get a lot of stuff. You join browser. So hey, link in the description or just DM us on Instagram to join. Let's begin the video though. Oh man, bro. So box logo week is here. It's box logo week for me as well as spray paint can week, bro. Like honest to God, these spray paint cans are pretty much like what the box logo is to you guys. I need to walk away from this drop with these cans. But let's begin with the box logos. So, three different box logos releasing, three different colorways. That's nine different opportunities for us to make some money. So I'm gonna help you guys with my like strategy, I guess, for what you should go for, especially if you're manual. I'm avoiding the black colorway. Usually, if you guys have seen my box logo prediction videos, I always recommend black color because it's one of the most stock colorways. But obviously for this drop, all three colors are neutral. So they should be having similar stock sizes and black's probably gonna be selling out the first just because it's a popular t-shirt color I think we can all agree it's probably the best color of these three and that leaves gray and white I think a lot of people are gonna be going for gray just because they think gray is like the least sought after between the three I mean it's not a bad idea to go for gray but I'm personally gonna recommend white colorway for this release um, I know for a fact white color is gonna be just as stocked as the black colorway there's a slight chance gray is less stocked but um, white's gonna be heavily stocked I think it's an afterthought because everyone's thinking either black for the best resale or gray because it sells out the slowest. I feel like everyone's forgetting about the white color. So if you guys want your best chances at manualing this, medium or large, maybe even large, that's usually my recommendation in case mediums fly. You guys are actually gonna see me run this Cardinal iOS bot tomorrow. I know it's a dark day in the history of Supreme, but I just don't give a fuck, you know, like talk your shit, whatever. I really honestly just wanna try it out for our group just because a lot of people are gonna be getting access to this bot. Why not try it out for ourselves, see if it works. So you guys will see that tomorrow. Besides that, honestly, Chrome Autofill is not a bad way to go with this one. Box logo drops usually have an insane amount of bot protection, so it's not the worst thing in the world to go a little more manual. Um, for most of this season, I've just been using Google Chrome. It's worked really well for me. So I might be trying that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use Cardinal. I'm probably gonna avoid Cardinal for my first checkout just to make sure I don't run into any bot protection issues, but the moment after I take that card decline, I'm turning on Cardinal because it will help you out a shitload. It's gonna help out with these later multi-cards I'll tell you guys about but yeah resale prediction I was talking to Jacob Starr about this and he was telling me he thought these were gonna do like around 200 250 or so I'm a little more hopeful I think some of these could hit 300 plus especially like XLs of things like the pink with the black colorway even smalls I think are gonna do pretty well but um, I definitely think like 250 is the floor for these I honestly would be surprised if they hit as low as 200 I would be fucking sad that would mean stock is really big um, there are nine different tees which is gonna make resale a little worse but my like price range is around 250 to like 280 um, and these could even go up after the first day We saw that recently with the long sleeve They bricked right away and then actually went up like a hundred bucks or so within a couple other days So if prices are really low to start off, I'd actually hold on to these Otherwise try to sell them quickly because they're not really gonna rise much But I think that's enough box logo talk next up. Let's move on. We have the mini spray cans I don't even want to say a word about these bro. Um, they're 38 uh, they are gonna be a bitch to ship. I'm super excited to tell y'all that. You do have to mark these if you send out a USPS package saying they have aerosol in them. So ha 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 resellers. I'm buying these for the personal. Don't do it to yourselves, folks. It's so annoying to mark something as aerosol. I would just avoid that headache. Don't even buy these. Let your boy 
fucking loves graffiti, who has never thought they would make a Supreme spray can. Please just let me buy these, bro. A set of six. That pink spray can, boys. I'm gonna get that just straight up injected into my bloodstream for the rest of my existence. I need these. It's uh, that simple. Um, yes, they'll probably resell. They'll probably do like double retail. Not bad profit. Um, please. <laughs> Guys, I'm I'm desperate here, bro. I will get on my fucking hands and knees if it means you guys let me cop this shit. If you truly love me, don't go for these. It's that simple. Like, I could take an L on the box logo. That's fine. If I don't get my spray cans, you guys will see a fucking meltdown. That's just on God. Like, I promise that. Let's keep moving, though. Um, not a bad pickup. There are They are going to sell out kind of fast. So, please. Please. All right, uh, moving on. Emilio Pucci Zippo. I actually have pretty good expectations for this. I don't see these going under 80 bucks. It's such a nice breath of fresh air from the just monotonous, exact same design we've seen the last like three years with Zippos. I'm super hyped for these. Every color is gonna do well. Pink is probably gonna be the best. Black second. It applies to everything. I'm guessing like 80 to 90 for these. Um, they will age really nicely. So not a bad multi-cart item after the box logo. Definitely worth going for. One of the better profit items from the drop. Next up is these shorts. Um, the shorts are actually pretty wearable, man. Definitely this pink color I have high expectations for. 138, not the worst retail. These are probably gonna do around like 180 to 200. They are gonna age pretty decently. However, I would probably try to get rid of them before fall winter shorts just don't really do as great in the fall for obvious reasons XL is the best size to go if you try to grab a pair of these next up is the sport jacket now I'm pretty up in the air about this one man this could actually end up being like the best resale like item besides the box logos just because it does have the spell out on the hood um, it's got decent branding on the front it's wearable you can still even wear it now because it's like a light track jacket but at the same time Track jackets have not done too well for Supreme recently. This is kind of a chaotic print, and it is 278, which is a lot of money for a track jacket, man. I mean, it's a sport jacket. I guess not technically a track jacket, even though it looks the same. I would go for pink colorway or black if I went for this, and I would go for an XL or like a large, a small. Do not get a medium. It's hard for me to give a resale prediction. I'm pretty hopeful for these. They could end up doing kind of mediocre at first, but I think this is gonna be one of the best aging items from this collab. Might even get one. Uh, moving on. We we have the soccer jersey. Uh, now you guys know I am not a big fan of this. I just, ugh, it's so lazy to me. Some people told me they still really enjoyed them. I can see why, like it's not the worst item or nothing, um, but it's definitely nothing I'm a fan of. I can't even tell you the last Supreme Soccer jersey that actually did well with resale. So keep that in mind. Um, these are probably not gonna do too crazy, especially first day. Pink is without a doubt the best color for it. Black set, like I'm not gonna keep saying it. Definitely only XL if you buy these to resell. I'm not even gonna bother with them. I have low hope next up just some oh, this is fucking gross like 398 bro like there's nothing you can tell me about these that justify that price like supreme you've done plenty of 150 200 sunglasses how come these are double the price look the exact same there's no no reasoning you could tell me these should be 378 definitely don't buy these man like supreme sunglasses can surprise people sometimes maybe the black pair but nah bro it's a pass these are like what the fuck uh next up is the belt um, um, the belt honestly is like not very wearable in my mind. I really don't see these doing too nicely. I just, yeah, I, I'm definitely not even gonna look at these on the website. The last belt that came out, I thought that was a way better design. It's not even doing well, so this is a pack. World is yours hoodie. Bro, we don't give a fuck about the lookbook this week. We're not even bothering with that. We got the mesh uh, cargo pants. I'm actually like kind of intrigued by these, man. I definitely see some potential. Especially being that they can go into shorts and stuff. That's pretty neat. They are 198 Like that's a little hefty for this style pant from Supreme. Um, they do this style all the time This is like a mesh cargo so that could help it out only the black color though If you go for these I'm gonna be skipping them. There's better stuff this week and 200 is too much Oh, yeah next up the six panels. Um, I want to write these off and say like no bro like 68 That's a lot, but Every once in a while, hats can surprise us. The Stone Island hats, those ended up doing numbers, bro. Um, so I think these could do maybe 80 or so. They're not gonna do crazy right away. But I wouldn't be shocked if these like slowly make their way to 100 bucks. Um, the pink and black, obvious, like I'm so sick of saying that. But this is pretty chaotic for a hat, which is not gonna help it out. And the branding is not really the best, so 
Probably a pass in my opinion, unless you're trying to get a multi-cart with free shipping. Next up, this is probably my favorite item from the collab, just cause it's like the most wearable. It's a practical retail, 158. Um, this is rayon material, just a normal Supreme rayon. Pink color way, my guy. Like there's nothing else that needs to be said. These could probably do like 200 or so first day. I definitely see these as being one of the best performing items. I would try to get rid of them though. Lately, rayons have not done well for Supreme. I think these will have good hype right away, but I could see them kind of coming down a little bit as orders arrive. XL for these are gonna do numbers, I promise you that. Next up, Terry basketball jersey, nah bro. Terry material is never the move. Uh, the mesh cargo jacket. Now I'm not gonna lie, like at least for Palace, man, this style of cargo jacket would do really well for resale. I don't know if it's gonna be the same story for Supreme, especially without like a Supreme spell out on the hood. That would have made this a for sure cop. As of right now, it's not worth it. It's summer. People are not buying jackets right now. Um, the black is just too basic. Maybe if they had logos on both sides in the hood, like it just doesn't have enough on it to actually get resale, especially with a 238 retail. It could end up being a sleeper item, but it's a pass. Next up, we got the smoking meth silk atrocity, bro. Are you fucking? I just like. Dog, I, I get it silk. I, I don't get it silk. I must not know silk prices because I knew this thing was gonna be silk and I still said it'd be like 328. It's 8,000. It's 1,200, let me correct myself, dollars. Um, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Never, never. They call this a smoking jacket. Like you're supposed to just go put this on only when you're going in smoking. The only person I think would be practical buying this is that boy Fulio because he's constantly smoking all his dead off. That was kind of a lame joke, sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry, were you gonna buy this? No, you weren't. You don't have $1,200 to buy a fucking smoking jacket. And I know this one's cool, bro. I know Sage made it look cool and all. Um, it's not going into fucking crippling debt cool, my guy. Like, oh my lord. Oh my god, get these out of my face. If these end up reselling, like, Supreme is not dead. Because if they can sell a robe for over 1200 and make profit, I don't ever want to hear this brand's dead. That's, I doubt that happened. Uh, no on the sport pants, too chaotic. Terry basketball shorts, not too bad, but Terry material just does not sell. Uh, next up is a sweatshirt, which is an intriguing one. This is a Supreme blank, I'm guessing, based on the retail. I wish they did something like a bandana or something with this. Because I love this print so much, but it's like, I don't need a hoodie with it. It's just too crazy for me. This could end up aging well. It's probably not gonna do well right away. It'll probably sit on the site for a little bit. But these all over print hoodies usually end up surprising people. So I wouldn't be shocked if this does get reselled down the line. I'm gonna be passing on it though. It's just too much. Um, Not for now on the camp caps. There's just better stuff this week. The piping is terrible. So much potential here, man. If you just gave us a normal ass hat, these are reselling because we have not had Supreme Playboy for a while. It's been a nice breath of fresh air. Like I miss Supreme Playboy at this point and I wish they did this with more of the like seasonal collabs. Things like Timberland. I wouldn't be mad if we took a season break every once in a while just to make it a little more special because when you're getting this shit shoved in your face every season it gets tiring as hell but I miss Playboy at this point man. I wish they'd bring it back. I mean, they did for these horrendous hats. Like, they wasted these, man. Such a bummer. Uh, laser cut S logo. RIP the fucking S logo, bro. They have this shit so down bad. The S logo is dead. Like, it's just gone, deceased. Next up is this shirt. You're gonna be deceased from all the pussy you're gonna score in this. You pull up to the family dinner in this little Johnny, your cousin's best friend is gonna be peeping game. That I'm putting y'all on. This is the one, my guys. You wanna go to some, like, art exhibit and, like, dap up a goth emo chick? This is the one, bro. Like, this is such a sick button up. Definitely not buying this. I cannot rock it. It's not gonna resell. Definitely a cool shirt, bro. I wish they did this with a rayon. They should have made this into a rayon design. I don't know why they didn't. We're gonna end it off with these sweatpants. I love the sweatpants. I just love this design, but let's be real, bro. This would look so chaotic on body. I can't give it a pass. If I saw someone in public with it, I would fucking think they're so cool, but I'm not wasting my money on these, so that's gonna do it for the week. Overall, best items. The box logo. Wow, crazy hot choice right there. The Montana mini cans. All right, I said it. I, I really didn't want to, but it's a good resale item. Zippo. Oh, I didn't even talk about this, bro. I'm sorry. Let me put my laptop away for this one. Um, Supreme, buddy. So, you're telling me this item that's in the lookbook is just not for sale. So, we're doing this again, because we already did this before with the stupid-ass bikes in the lookbook. All of a sudden, nobody could even buy one. So, what the fuck? This is like when people put, like, a grail item on grailed, and then they put in the description, oh, it's not for sale. Like, so why'd you post it? 
So why is it on this selling website then? Supreme's doing the same exact shit where it's like, bro, don't put it in the lookbook if we can't buy it. So ridiculous. So fucking ridiculous. I wanted one of these. I obviously can't afford this shit at all. I could put 15 ads in this video. I still couldn't even come close to buying one of these. Yeah, F and F. There's no chance. So yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this week though. It's been your boy Boone. Again, man, go join browser, bro. It's the best time to do so. It's box local week. If you guys got some more questions about resale or whatever, cop in, just leave a comment. I'll try to get back to y'all. Box of the week, bro. Let's go. It's gonna be a sick live cop tomorrow. I hope you guys are ready. I'm either gonna rage or be hella happy. Probably rage. I'll see y'all later though. Anyway, boom. I'm out. Peace.